Welcome to Manchester Station again. I'm going to cover uh, briefly how we set up an operating evening and how we enjoy ourselves uh, running a real railway, at least we like to think it is. Um, this is the main Manchester station. Um, we're looking after it as a station manager. So one of the things that we find people say about a computer control railway or a, an automated railway is that they often think it might take the fun out of it. Well, actually, uh, what I hope to inform you on now is that it doesn't take that away at all. In fact, quite the opposite. It gives you a lot more uh, prototypical work to do. So this is the main thing for controlling the station. Some people call it a control board. Some people call it a mimic board. I'd like to think it's the main signal box on Manchester Station. And whoever's looking after it's got responsibility for all those points that you can see there with the lights. And they've also got a number of other jobs that they've got to do. The first thing is, when you look at it, you'll notice there are three green lights on at the moment. Uh, this represents the whole station. This one represents the goods receive. And this one represents the sidings. While ever those green lights are on, the computer is on control of the whole station. What that means is that it can dispatch and send in locomotives and trains. It can also send them out to other destinations. And at the moment, while ever the computer is on control and those green lights are on, I, as the station manager, cannot change any of the points leading into the station. None of those are changing. If, on the other hand, as the station manager, I want to actually get involved in moving stock or in shunting uh, coaching stock into the station or out, then I can take control of this board. It's interlocked with the computer. If I press this one, the whole station, you'll see now that that's turned to red. It gives me total control of everything that's coming in or out of the station. The computer cannot deliver any more trains because I might be using a shunter to start doing some work on the throat that leads into the station. But the main thing is it allows me now, and you'll probably hear them operating, to change points. So I can determine where things are going into the station. Now, what's delivering those things to the station? Well, we actually have other people that are working on the same schedule that I'm working on here. We call it sequencing. So we will start at a certain sequence number on an evening, and we'll work through as far as we can. And these sequence sheets tell us for Manchester Station what's going to happen in this particular move while we're here. So for example, there's a train arriving here. It's a regional train from Cardiff to Manchester. So it's alerting me as the station manager of some work that I have to do. I have to make sure there's a platform free. I have to make sure that it's clear. And I have to make sure that the, the settings on the board that we talked about earlier are set so that that train can come in. This also tells us the next two moves. So it gives the person who's in control of the station a bit of foresight as to what's going to happen on the next two moves or sequences. So if we start to complete this work, we can start looking ahead to what else we can do on the station. Now that's determined, predetermined the actual sequences, and someone else is working on the computer outside this room, and they're dispatching trains. And what will happen is that they will telephone us and let us know when trains are coming in, and we can also telephone them, and we can explain what's happening on our station and they can determine when to take trains out. And we keep a note of that physically uh, on a, a little magnetic board here. And this means that we can take a note of what the actual loco number is, what the set of the coaching stock or the good stock is, uh, and also the, the number of the loco. Um, and that information, again, is, is tr transferred on the phone. So that's how we operate uh, on a typical evening. And what happens with the control here, often we have one person working as the signalman and another one will physically drive the trains. But because you as the station manager have control of this, it really puts you into a very prototypical uh, role. Um, the nice thing is that those trains and engines that go out uh, leave and then they're under the control of the computer. So we can be working in the station while other trains are passing by and we don't need to be too concerned about them. So this person's role is to look after the whole station, the sidings, the sheds, uh, the turntable, and in fact all the points that you saw on the diagram there, right, right, right up to here, which is the main line. So um, having covered that, I think it shows that uh, we really are still working like a real railway. Uh, we just have that added benefit of having a lot of scenic trains running around and giving us a lot of enjoyment.